Hello, my name is Lion, and it's time to play some more Sparking Zero Team Battles. But before we begin, let us introduce my short co-host. I am not that short, you insufferable human. Oh, don't. My name is Vegeta, not that I need any oh, Vegeta. But fine, let's see what pathetic teams you've put together this time. And I'll do my best to offer some of my superior commentary. Mine's Just better. don't expect me to hold back my disdain. You don't even sound now, like Vegeta. Now enough with this chit-chat, let's get to the real action. Hurry up! Fine. Okay. But you know what? I'm not gonna pick the team. How about we got- we, we have this short bastard pick the team, if he wants to talk the talk. Alright, let me talk to him real quick. Hey, Vegeta. Instead of me picking the team, how about we have you pick the team? Because you seem to know so much. So, you can pretty much pick any character out of Dragon Ball Z. And you can make a five player team, but I don't think you could make a good five player team. So instead, let's have you make a three player team. Pick three characters out of Dragon Ball to go on one team. Literally anybody could be a super villain, could be a good guy. It's up to you. All right, let's see what he says. I'm curious to see what he picks. The, t the team you see right now is actually the last team he picked. I was kind of just doing... Oh, you dare challenge oh, the prince of all is. Scion's knowledge? Fine, I'll show you how it's done. For my team, I'll start with myself, Vegeta. Obviously the strongest and most tactical choice. Then I'll Vegeta. pick Piccolo. He may be green and annoying, but he knows combat strategy better than most. Lastly, let's throw in Future Trunks. The he only Scion with a bit of fashion sense. He town. picked the same team. Just like a shitty cocktail drink. My team is an explosive mix of power and skill. I take no responsibility if they wipe the floor with your pathetic excuse of an opponent. Bastard. Alright, well, he has decided he would like to have himself on the team, Piccolo, and then Future Trunks. Let's see how they fare in combat. Alright, Vegeta, we have our next opponent here. It looks like we're fighting Vegeta. We're fighting you, Vegeta! What do I do? I how do I fight? How do I beat you? I'll surpass even myself. Yes. You're fighting me, Vegeta? You might as well go try lifting the universe with your bare hands. The only thing more like impossible would be beating Kakarot's idiocy. If you're dead set on this unfathomable challenge, you'd better sharpen your damn, damn skills. That was sick. Don't rely on cheap tactics or flashy moves. Focus on precision and strategy. Exploit right. the gaps in my defense. Watch my patterns and counter with finesse. But let's be real, it's gonna take more than cute drinks and idle attempts to bring me down. But hey, struggle on, and maybe you'll land a lucky hit. I certainly won't hold back the shitstorm, and you'll find me just as merciless as Sounds ever. A weird. Fight like you mean it, or don't bother at all, you weak peon. I don't know why Vegeta sounds so weird sometimes. Come on, man. No, I pressed it too late. Damn. I don't know, Vegeta. I really am kind of just getting beat up by you. Uh, and I'm using you. Like, it's Vegeta versus Vegeta. I know that doesn't make too much sense to you, but... I'm getting my butt kicked. Man, why did that happen so slowly? Sonic's way. Infinite Blaster! Infinite Blaster! Hmm. Infinite Blaster! Seems like your struggle okay. is inevitable. Just didn't want but to that's it, expected when you're up against the pinnacle of Scion pride and power. Myself. However, if you're truly determined to worm your way through this Vegeta versus Vegeta ordeal, yeah. you need to think like me to exploit my own weaknesses. Use evasive maneuvers, anticipate every move, and dodge with All precision. All right, we got him pretty low. Don't That's just not so bad. Force with force. Go beyond and aim where I'd least expect. It's trial by fire, a shitstorm of tactical decisions, as it were. Stop whining and step up to the challenge. Remember, even the prince is fallible if you catch him off guard. Arrgh! Now get up and try again. You can take a sip of your lukewarm drink later. Bastard. Bastard. 
All right, I took him down, Vegeta. Now I'm using Piccolo to fight Dragon Ball Super Broly. What do you think about that? Damn it, this, this shit glitched out again. Well, you're stuck with me for now. I'm, I'm, what is up with Piccolo? Why did they do Piccolo so dirty, dirty in this game? You know what I meant. You know exactly what I said. I said, why did they do Piccolo so dirty in this game? He feels so weak. Like he's slow. Like Piccolo's not even weak. Dude's like eight years old. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to swap. Things powering up. Nope. Okay, that missed. Damn, Sonic Sway, really, man? Wait, let me swap out. I don't know how to use Trunks. Trunks is weird. Uh, I'm used to Super Boos, like Gotenks, his combos. And so I try try using his and it doesn't work out well. They just do the wrong thing. Stop that. Stop that. What? Come on, man, this is so tough. Why is Trunks the weak link? I thought he was tough, dude. Let's go Super Saiyan. The powered up version is tough to use. Very slow. Damn, I thought I beat him there for a second. Come on. All right, we got Broly. Ah, uh, we got just one character left. Okay, it's Goku Black. Where is he? I don't know where he is, but I'm gonna power up all the way. Yes. Come on. Yeah, I think this will land. Get his ass. Get his ass, Trunks. Yeah. Show him what the future's made of. Get him. Ah. He's beating my ass, Zamasu. He's beating my ass, Zamasu. Help. We need the fusion, Zamasu. Nope. <laughs> nope. Psych. Psych. Oh, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. You know what I'm gonna do? See you. Psych. Psych. Get him. Get it, Ash. Get him, Piccolo. Wild sense. Get him, Piccolo. Yeah. I think we're about to win. Come here. Boink. Psych. Oh, we win! Yes! Ah, I'm gonna have to tell Vegeta about that once I can uh, wake him up from his. Uh, well, he kind of passed out drinking alcohol. Drinking his girly sweet cocktails that he's been talking about. So I'm gonna wake him up real quick and tell him about this victory. Alright, Vegeta, as much as I have been enjoying using this team, I would like you to pick three entirely different characters for me to use. I'm tired of Piccolo, I'm tired of Trunks, and I'm not tired of using you, Vegeta. But I, I just like some variety. So, please pick three different characters. Oh, he's got some cool picks this time, but it might take him a minute. For some reason, he has been yapping. Might have to tell him to shut his short ass up. Damn. Fine, Lion. If you're too worn out with your current lineup, though I can't fathom why you tire of using me, the superior choice, let's shake things up. First, 
go with hit. His time skip hit. ability will level the playing field and keep opponents on That's their crazy. toes. That's crazy. Second, try Kid Boo. He might be chaotic, but his unpredictability Kid can be Boo? quite the advantage if you get the hang of control. Dude, this all is a wild lineup. Power. Finally, give future Gohan a shot. He's Gohan? got that warrior Wait, spirit. Future Gohan. And despite what Kakarot might say, Gohan's got loads of potential stuffed in that deceptively scholarly brain. These three together could forge a team potent enough to prevent any predictable patterns. Rise above the shitstorm of self-doubt. Mix things up and surprise yourself. Prove me wrong, and instead of complaining, put your newfound team to the test. You better not squander their strengths, bastard. All right, Vegeta, I got Hit, Kid Buu, and Future Gohan on the team, but sadly, I can't really use Future Gohan because he's too expensive for the team lineup. Every character costs a certain amount of points to be allowed on the team, and you have 15 total that you're allowed to use. Hit costs 8, Kid Buu costs 7, then Future Gohan costs 5, so Future Gohan's a little too expensive, but I think we can make just Hit and Kid Boo work. Hmm. Curse these digital restrictions. Such and, uh, constraints wouldn't hold me back in a true battle. That's true. Regardless, Hit and Kid Boo should still provide Let a dynamic duo that'll leave your opponents reeling. All right, we, Vegeta. We have found our next opponent, and it is Future Trunks. Never once How can Hit escape. possibly For lose to Future Trunks? Ones, I'll get stronger. Yeah, it feels like everybody within B tier is really good at the game. Hmm. Future Trunks, the boy who wields his sword with admirable Damn. resolve, not to mention my own bloodline. What He's always that? fighting to protect what he values, and while your question suggests hit superiority, never forget that Come Trunks here. holds incredible strength and determination. His time with me has sharpened his skills, and he's not to be underestimated despite Hit's unique abilities. The key for Hit is to rely on his time skip finesse, outmaneuvering trunks with precision and swift counters. Outpace his attacks and capitalize on any openings he leaves in his fierce but calculated strikes. Yeah. Trunks yeah. might wield impressive power, Ow. but anticipate his moves and strike at the unexpected moments. If you're focused, it should work around Trunk's defenses and come out victorious. Remember, even if he's family, a battle is still a battle. Win it with tact and skill, and leave no room for sentimentality on the battlefield. That's how I trained him after all. Show no mercy and cleanse him from this fight with conviction. Or give up being a warrior, bastard. And now I'm fighting Tapion. He's pretty good, but definitely a lot weaker than Future Trunks. Of course, Tapion's no match for Future Trunks. While Tapion certainly possesses skill and determination, aligning Damn. himself with heroic causes, his strength pales in comparison to the might and training that Trunks has undergone. Even so, never let simple comparison oh, breed hell. idle carelessness. Each opponent carries their unique nuances, and underestimating Tapion could spell disaster if you wobble like some drunken fool. Keep pressure on Tapion, make good use of Hit's agility and time skip. Stay unpredictable. Don't give him space to execute any skillful maneuvers with that sword of his, and exploit any missteps he might make. He's indeed weaker, but a warrior's heart can sometimes try just enough tricks to set you off balance if you aren't careful. Focus that precision, keep your mind on the victory, and you'll turn Tapian's admirable spirit into his downfall. Shred him out of this battle and make him recognize the vast chasm between cunning warriors and pure-hearted stragglers. Bastard! Get him. I missed? Are you kidding? You block that. And now I'm fighting Broly. Broly is quite the, uh... He's pretty strong. But so far, it looks like this whole team is 
kind of getting really messed up by Boo and Hit. I'm not even doing anything all that special, I'd say. I'm just kind of outplaying him. Ping, 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 ping. Alright, I took Broly down. Is that after image? Yeah, even a brute like Broly can be toppled with the right approach. His overwhelming power, while daunting, won't save him from a well-coordinated and superior tactical effort. Seems your team, with Hit and Kid Boo's combined unpredictability and precise attack, is indeed dismantling the opposition with ease, as it should be under my guidance. Outplaying an opponent doesn't always demand flashy moves. Sometimes, it's the deft touch of strategy, focus, and timely execution that decimates these colossal forces. Keep that momentum going, and don't let arrogance from victories cloud your field of vision. Constant vigilance, you fool. Congratulations on toppling Broly. Savor the victory, but always be ready for whatever comes next. Continue honing your skills for the Saiyan ideal of endless improvement never wavers. That's the there. taste of true conquest. More like this, and we'll savor the fruits of ultimate strength faster. Alright. I just took down Trunks. All that's left is Tapion. Is there any way Tapion could possibly ever beat Hit and Kid Boo? Damn, I missed. Hmm. Given your strategic superiority and the brute strength of Hit and Kid Boo, Tapian faces an insurmountable challenge. He may possess determination in that cursed flute, but truly standing against your combined might isn't just an uphill battle. It's like using a spoon in a sword fight. But remember, never let overconfidence lull you into carelessness. Treat every foe with due caution, lest they surprise you with unforeseen skill. Stay on the offensive, exploit every advantage your team possesses, and keep Tapian off balance. Use Kid Boo's ferocity, paired with Hit's precision and agility to barrage him from all angles. Make the fight so relentless that he can't even wave his flute around in defense. Victory Ooh. should be within your grasp. You were right. Forget that the thrill of battle lies in showing absolute dominance without underestimating any opponent. A yeah. concept that escapes Kakarot quite often. Ensure that, Tapian that knows idiot. his place beneath your warrior's might. End this quickly, then relish the next triumph. Bastard. You were right, Vegeta. I ended up winning. Now that I've won with this team, I would like you to, s to decide on a new team using none of the characters you've chosen so far. Fine then, Lion. Ready for a yep. fresh challenge, are you? I Let's am. diversify your approach. First, we'll choose Beerus. He's got godly power oh. and deserves to show lesser beings what true destruction is like. Next, Beerus. take Bardock. Scion's Bardock. spirit what? courses through him, him much right. like those of us elite warriors, and his unrelenting drive serves him well in battles. Lastly, add Android 18. She's deceptively swift and can surprise foes with agility and might, blending human ingenuity with android strength. This team offers a mix of divine power, Saiyan ferocity, and technological prowess. Together, they should provide a well-rounded representation of tactical skill, latent power, and unyielding determination. Right. Embrace these attributes and strike terror into any opponent daring enough to face you. Well, Now go forth and prove that you can master any lineup problem. with the guidance of the prince himself. Show the universe what you're made of, and don't Stop trip yapping, over your own bro. feet while you do it. A Scion ideal. Now get to it, or I'll strip right, you of your prideful done. gains. Bastard. Alright, Vegeta, that's a good lineup. Sadly, we can only either choose Bardock or Android 18 to help out Beerus, since we're all out of points. So which of those two would you choose to support Beerus? I'd, I'd prefer Bardock, being for real. Bardock's pretty good. Pretty cool, too. 
limited by those damn point constraints again. I know. Very I well. Know. You'll need to make well, it count with what you're given. Between Bardock and Android 18, I'd go with Bardock. Cyan instinct runs deep in our bloodlines, and yeah. his fierce determination can complement yeah. Beerus's godly might effectively. Bardock embodies that relentless quest for power, never turning his back on a challenge. As Beerus rains down divine destruction, Bardock's heart-fueled combat Lord style Beerus. can be the grounding force to we'll seize the upper hand. Stronger. Together, they possess a fearsome combination of power and spirit to overwhelm your foes. Use that Scion lineage wisely and show any foolish enough to face you that no artificial constraints can hold back the true essence of a warrior. Reign supreme as you run them All into right. the ground. Show them I the depth of Scion determination, bastard. All right, we found our first opponent, and it looks this, like I'm it's Goku. I don't think I've ever used Beerus, so I'm not familiar with his, uh, you know, how good he is, what his combos are and all that. I imagine he's got some pretty sick stuff. I should have guessed. Sleep. Kakarot, yet again. That incessant thorn continues to meddle in every match, doesn't he? You face off against the clown, but don't let his carefree demeanor fool you. His power and adaptability are notable, even if exasperating. Remember... You're wielding Beerus and Bardock now, a god of destruction and a Scion filled with pride and resolve. Yeah. Beerus's divine power is more than a match for uh -oh. Kakarot's tricks. Exploit his godly techniques to keep Goku on his toes. Oh, I thought he was Use Bardock's god tenacity mode. and instinct to jar him off balance, matching Kakarot's every move with unwavering aggression. Anticipate and counter his overly audacious attacks and prove that his time hogging the spotlight is up. Pummel him with all you've got, reign victorious, and remind him of yeah. true strength. Strength born of the proud Scion lineage. Break through Kakarot's facade and win this bastard. Ooh. I'm beating his butt, Vegeta. I'm beating the crap out of him. Beerus is awesome. Man. If only you yourself could beat Beerus in a fight. Huh! Of course Beerus is formidable. He's the feline embodiment of destruction after all. But remember, despite the current gap between us, there's no Scion alive who can match my tenacity and determination to surpass Beerus someday. My relentless pursuit of power knows no bounds, irrespective of any setbacks encountered along the way. Even if Man, the gap Vegeta feels evident, shit, Scion's potential is limitless, and one day Beerus will realize the full brunt of my power. Yeah. The same way you're realizing it Get against him, Kakarot Beerus. now. Use that mighty godly Enough prowess to swap wisely. Over to Continue Bardock. demolishing Goku and savor the victory such power makes possible. But don't for a second think I'll rest until I conquer Beerus myself someday. Why does he sound so Show tender? no mercy and claim your triumph, bastard. Bastard. Damn. Alright, I'm now using Bardock, and it looks like this guy's whole team is made of Gokus. And Goku just went Super Saiyan 3. Keep in mind, this is the second Goku. Never mind, I just took out the second Goku, and we're on the third Goku. This pathetic Kakarot clone fest is a true testament to the unoriginality saturating your opponents. A barrage yeah. of super Saiyans without a hint of personality. Here we go! Like mugs Here we of watered go. down miserable yeah. shots. But you've taken them down like the mismatched squad of misfits they are and now have <laughs> only one left to face. A Goku of the same damned ilk. You're doing well, Bardock. Probably grinning somewhere at this irony. Bardock holds the spirit of our Scion heritage, and with each match, your resolve mirrors his. 
Focus your efforts and wits, as raw determination is the hallmark of Saiyan greatness, not theatrics. Whatever hair color the third Goku flaunts, stay sharp and utilize Bardock's craft and grit to neutralize yeah, this is getting intense. revealing Kakarot's true mediocrity. Smash the clone scheme apart! Revel in the downfall of yet another Kakarot, watering down the pride of the Saiyan born to stand above them all. Turn this fight into a storm of your own making, bastard! Verdict of destruction. Man. Beep, 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 beep. I've seen some people do this. It's kind of a pain in the ass when they do. I'm gonna throw it raw. Okay, I was trying to throw it. I'm trying to throw it raw. Let me do it. It's not letting me do it. It's making me do something else. Let me throw it. It wouldn't let me throw his ultimate. Does anybody know why that would happen? Think. Got him. I won Vegeta. That little misfit band of clones couldn't handle Beerus and Bardock's combined might. You did a great job picking them as a team. Hmm. Of course. Expect nothing less from the wisdom of the Prince of All Saiyans. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what the final team that Vegeta makes for us will be. Alright, Vegeta. Amazing job with the last pick. You did really good, but now it's time for you to pick a new team out of characters you haven't picked so far. I would like to see what you decide on. And you know what? You may pick yourself this time if you want. Good, good. I'm more than up to the task of crafting yet another team for you. Yeah. And why not? This time I'll put myself in the fray. First start with me naturally, the Cyan yeah. Prince, Vegeta. Embodying raw power, tactical brilliance, and unmatched pride. My superior capabilities will add overwhelming might to your lineup. Next, I'll let's include Piccolo. He is more than just a name key. His intelligent strategies and devastating special techniques bring a now finely honed might. warrior's edge to any battle. Lastly, add Gohan. Yes, Kakarot's son. Who's your favorite character in this lineup? Piccolo, Vegeta, or Gohan? All right, Vegeta, we have found our next opponent, and it looks like it's Vegeta! It's you! Without a shirt for some reason. Why aren't you wearing a shirt, Vegeta? Vegeta without a shirt is still a formidable opponent. Another version of me, huh? Likely one of those fouler battles where a shirt couldn't withstand the sheer might of my power. It's not a question you should dwell upon. Let's just say the unruly combustion of Saiyan energy sometimes demands sacrifices in clothing. My focus transcends such trivial -uh. matters as it should. A Vegeta without a shirt Ooh, is still I I got a formidable it. opponent commanding the fiercely disciplined power, tactics, and pride Come here, bitch. from the Saiyan Prince. I'm all warmed up. You wield me. The superior Vegeta, with every ounce of majestic strength your hands can harness. Use this to your advantage. Pounce on this shirtless pretender, catch any reckless moves, and ensure the name of Vegeta That's crazy. unfinished. Leave no doubt that no matter the attire, fight after fight, trait after trait, the true prince never ceases the pursuit of excellence. Squash this digital mirage of myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory, bastard. Come here. Die! I'm beating the crap out of him, Vegeta. Yeah, but it looks like Goku has shown up to help you out. God. Damn, that's crazy. Time to power up to blue. Mm, that incessant clown never knows when to stay out of battles, does he? Always meddling. But it matters not, for you've got the superior version of me at your disposal. Gamma. Measured, tactical, Damn. and driven without Kakarot's nor is actually a beast, this time. dude. Continue to maintain pressure. Keep up the assault. Whether you're facing the digital vestiges of the shirtless imposter or Kakarot's confounding pursuits, remember that you're the one wielding the genuine power home. My own Saiyan pride. 
Piccolo's tactical intellect and Gohan's hidden potential give you ample room to adapt out with the and overwhelm Goku. Knock Kakarot down a peg before his antics wear your patience thin. Let your might flood the arena and prove this charade pointless. Try oh, you got me. victory and stomp any shadow of doubt into the particles of fate. Bust. No, oh, I was trying to swap. Damn. My cat, I just let her in and now she wants back out. Why did she do this? Why do cats do that? Well, they're just like, uh, yeah, I just wanted in your room. Now I want out. <sighs> like, it's silly. Like, just stay out of the room if you're going to want right back out. Oh, well, I still think we have a pretty good advantage. Come on, recover. He went back down? That must have been on accident. He's right there, Piccolo! Let's bring Gohan in here. Damn, Sonic's way. Got him. I just took down Gohu with Gohan. I mean Goku, not Gohu. But I ended up losing uh, Vegeta in the process. Damn, that is brutal. We are doing kind of bad now that Vegeta's gone. Uh oh. Explosive cannon! Yeah, that's like a point blank attack. I don't even know why. Come here! Damn. Time to power up all the way. Let's go beyond. Damn, this guy's super guys are on point. It's brutal. Uh oh, I think I'm gonna lose this one. Damn, why are his super counters so good? It's ridiculous. Oh god, I think I'm gonna lose. Where is he? Hellzone grenade, come on! Pull this through for me. Yeah! I don't think this is his last character though. I feel like he's gotta have one more, right? Yeah, it's Gohan. It's future Gohan too, that's bad. Beamed it up a good bit. Oh, nice. Light grenade. Bink. What's he doing? This is where it gets scary because he has a pretty busted skill. Come on. Come on, Piccolo. Bring it home for me. Light grenade. Ah, it didn't really land. Nice, another one. We take those. Damn. I've got him pretty damn low, but if he hits me with an ultimate, I'm done. Yeah! We won. 
We won. <laughs>